Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Locking It Down with Lucy. It is episode 185. Did I say 180 in a in a darts player voice when it was 180? I hope I did. Otherwise I would have missed a trick. Well hello everyone. It is good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Oh let's turn the lights up a little bit. So who have we got here today on this Thursday? Thursday. We got Terence saying hi Lucy, hello. We got Chris J saying good evening, good evening. We got uh, George saying hello, hello Lucy, hello chat. How is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? Also, I love how everyone is talking about Greg's. Uh, no Greg's for me today, uh, sadly. It was a non Greg's day. But tomorrow I can cash in on my free sausage roll. So maybe I'll do that either tomorrow or Saturday. We shall see. Um, maybe I'll treat my sister with a free sausage roll because that's our big sister's roll. She's like, come here, I'll give you a free Greg's sausage roll. Chris Jake's Jay saying that Greg's the only place where you can get a cold sausage roll and a hot Coke. Interesting. How How's the hot Coke happening? Aren't you getting it out of the fridge? Um, hello. As for me, everybody, I'm about to say something that you're all going to groan and be like, oh, hard eye roll. Something is wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know what my tonsil hurts and I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to see how this goes because, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a struggle right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that means I'm like ill or if I'm getting ill. I don't know. I, like I wake up every morning and I feel okay and then it gets to the end of the day and I just feel super tired and my tonsil hurts more and more and more. <laughs> no, I don't have tonsillitis. I'm hoping it'll be okay. <laughs> like, that's the weird thing. I don't feel, like, apart from the fact that I feel kind of drained uh, at the end. But that's why I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like I'm sick. I just feel like my um, my tonsil hurts. Uh, just I've never had this before. So I'm not I'm not sure what the problem is here um would, it, would a lemsit was a lemsit actually help a sore tonsil see it's weird like my throat doesn't hurt it's most certainly this tonsil here but maybe it maybe i am feeling a bit run down i'm wondering because yeah like like i said i thought i was getting sick but these are my only symptoms so dr chat <laughs> don't diagnose me with tonsillitis <laughs> i don't have time to have tonsillitis um, maybe it's because you haven't had a vacation to come up. No, I'm, I'm not joking, Christian. I think that might be the problem. I haven't had, I haven't had a break. I haven't had a, I haven't had a vacation. <laughs> Dr. Chat MD. Thank you, Dr. Chat MD. So we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to just drink water and I've got a squash just in case I need some feet, like some taste bud feelings, but I've got some multivitamins now. I'm having my vitamin C. I'm trying to do everything possible. I went to my parents' house at the weekend and everyone was sick. And I was like, typical. So I don't know if like the sickness got to me, but my tonsil was like fighting back. It's like, no, no, Lucy, don't be sick. I'll take the hit. So maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. I, I can't. What, what apples really hurt? The other thing is I'm not sure if I've just eaten too much, uh, too much chocolate. Do you feel, I feel like I, this, I, well, I don't know. I feel like I feel something here. <laughs> Doctor Chat, don't 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 diagnose me, Doctor Chat. Oh, interesting. I had a tonsil hurt on my left side. I went to the doctor, and it turns out my damaged model was calling me a. <gasps> I do have a I do have a wisdom tooth here. Let me just uh. Hmm. Actually, I don't have a wisdom tooth on that side. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't have you looking down my throat, uh, or or have you looking at me looking down my throat. I do have a I do have a wisdom tooth at the top though. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I I don't know. I I have I have maybe I have overdosed overdosed on chocolate. I am down with the sickness. Down with the sickness. Wow. Hello M. Hello. How is it going? So I'm gonna try and be gentle. Gentle with my tonsil and try not to overexert myself too much. But I do feel a little something here. A little something, something going on. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's my flux capacitor. We'll see, we'll see. I, I don't, I, 
it's upsetting because um, I don't want to be one of those people that is always ill. And I don't want to be, uh, like, you know, when you get those people, it's like, oh, I'm ill again, I'm ill again. I feel like I'm turning into one of those people. And I don't want to be. I don't want to be. So I'm going to try and stop touching my mouth. Warm milk. Mm. No, I'm just drinking water and some harsh sugar. Stop, <laughs> stop poking it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, whew. Someone said something about... I only think how by eating too much chocolate is cavities. I do like brushing my teeth, though, a lot. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell. I shan't dwell on it. I shall hope for the best. <sighs> I am feeling quite stressed out, to be fair. <laughs> I, I, we'll get to that in the lowlights of the week. So, welcome, everybody. Sorry for a depressing start there. So many of you are so kind and always so happy to be here. And I'm like, hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Do you want to hear something terrible? <laughs> so, thanks for, thanks for being here. So my question today is, do you like playing demos for games? Because there was a demo for Stellar Blade, which I haven't played, so I shan't be talking about it. But I was just curious because I was like, back in the day, I probably would have played the demo. But in today, I just didn't have time. And I also was like, I'll play it when it feels like it's relevant to me to play. You know what I'm saying? So 30% uh, of you are saying yes, 32% of you are saying no, and 38% of you are saying only games I'm unsure about. I feel like that's um, that's typical for me. Demos I remember playing. I remember playing the Uncharted Drake's Fortune demo, which was chapter four. That I had the plane wreck section, actually. It was quite funny. Uh, although it wasn't quite that area. I think it was the bit leading up to that area. Uh, because I wanted to buy Uncharted 2 for Christmas, so I thought I'd download the demo for that. I used to play a lot of demos back on the PS3 time, now I think about it, but again, it's because I had no money, so it was like something else to play and something to do. Oh, I used to like playing the Sonic Unleashed demo. Never bought Sonic Unleashed, so that demo did uh, wonders for me in that sense. Um, but what, do people have demos that they remember, famous demos? Uh, of course, I, I used to play the demo disc back in the day, so I played um, Just Bring It on my PS2 demo, which got us into wrestling, me and my brother. So that is a very important demo in uh, the story of me. If I had never played that demo, I may have never discovered and watched wrestling. And uh, here we are today. Uh, are demos really a thing anymore? Yeah, they, they have died out, Jamie, it seems. I, I do remember on the... Um, uh, what's it? The old PlayStation 3 store, there was like a section for demos. But I don't know if that section still exists anymore. Because there used to be more demos than uh, than there are now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess I do need more fruit and veg. I did make a stir fry at the weekend. <laughs> Does that count? I did put a shitload of honey in it though. So, um, the last demo slash base that I played was for a game I was unsure about. Hell let loose. I fell in love with that game. So yeah, I guess they do have their um, their purposes. Uh, only Resident Evil Two demo was the only one I've ever played. Wow. Demo disc on my PlayStation 1, says Robert Wall. Uh, Jamie's been... There's been loads of demos. Final, oh, yeah, of course. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Stellar Blade and Ghost Runner 2. So maybe they've had a resurgence demos. Because they did they did die out for a bit. Um, oh, and Liza P had one last year too. Interesting. Yeah, Sony has been pushing demos in the past couple of years. I don't mind them. I, I guess... Hmm, if there was, everyone's talking about Tomb Raider today. The original Tomb Raider demo, God, I spent longer in that than the actual game. I, I wish there was a demo for the for the new Tomb Raider. That would be nice to play if I could. I'm just going to take a quick, a quick drink. To keep hydration. Hydration. Maybe I should, oh, I say maybe I should check, check out the demo. Maybe I should, because I do want to play Liza P at some point. I've decided, everyone, next year is year of the backlog, okay? Because I can't, I can't play all these big games this year with my Grand Slam happening. So, backlog. All right, stir fries are good. Okay, great. Demos are having a resurgence. Maybe you'll throw some too much singing. Mm. Okay, I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll try. Maybe. I do want to play Rise of the Ronin, but I want to save it for when I get back from my trip because I don't want to play it and then put it down and then 
you know, come back to it. So what is coming up on the show today, everybody? First, a little bit of housekeeping. I want to say thank you for watching the Last of Us Part 2 stream on Monday. Sorry, I could not follow up on Tuesday. I was feeling, was I feeling ill on Tuesday? I often I might have started, started feeling a bit bad, but I went to work and I remember being like, oh my God, there's a lot to do. It's been quite busy because obviously I was off last week for training. So now all the work is back and I have, to, and it's like, ah, so there's a lot going on there. So thanks for watching that. I will be streaming Last of Us Part 2 either tomorrow, depending on how I feel, or maybe Saturday, or maybe Sunday or Monday. We shall see, because I've got another three-day weekend, because it's WrestleMania. So I will keep you posted, because I do want to finish the game, but I do want to do it in health. Uh, so I'm going to, this is a bit of a test run to see how well it goes. So that'll be exciting um to uh get back to that and finally finish it off and get that platinum it'll be nice to see it through oh thank you robert Wall. loving the last of us part two streams i have enjoyed it much more uh playing it with all of you and so it'd be nice to finish that up oh i've really enjoyed watching the last of us two streams as well oh the last of the last of us streams yes for now for now until they re-release it again on ps6 i'm sure a remaster remaster um so yeah i am very looking much forward to doing that so uh and then the other bit of housekeeping there'll be a new video at the weekend as well a new video on sunday oh i guess i'm not i won't stream on sunday if there's a new video on sunday hmm I have to figure this out. I just need to pray for wellness, 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 wellness. Oh, thanks everybody. I'm glad you liked the streams. I have, I did enjoy doing it. Yes, I, thank you, Terence. I did. I was still at work on Tuesday because there was a lot going on. <sighs> Alas. So, um, oh yeah, I want to. I want to correct a wrong that happened last week. Last week, everybody, I was so excited at the prospect of Easter. I um, wanted to eat a Kinder egg, and I got myself. A kinder joy by mistake. So everybody, we've got the real deal here. Hooray! An actual kinder surprise. Writing the wrongs. Ow! That doesn't crack at all. So let's um, let's let's bite into it because uh, I've been saving this for the show to just. I just have to know. This is so. This is. I'm sorry, everybody who has kinder joys, but this is way more superior. Then uh, that didn't even break the seal. Like this is just a better dining experience for Easter. Look at this quality egg. Look how shiny that is. You could shine your shoes with that. All right, let's get into it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh my god. This is so much better now. The other one had the same taste, yes. But this one's just, I'm now gonna review a Kinder Egg versus a Kinder Surprise and a versus a Kinder Joy. I think it's the texture. It's the, you want to bite it, you want to chew it. The other one is too slimy and it's kind of gross. Yeah, this is, this is much better. Mr. Kinder. Thank you for combining white chocolate and milk chocolate in one glorious shell because it's a miracle. It's a beautiful thing. Mmm. I love it. But how do I get the toy out? Now, this one, the toy is now in the middle. So we're going to have to find a way to, to get that out of there. Mmm. I did have a... Um, a cream egg the other day. Now, have you really eaten a cream egg um, if you don't eat some of the foil? I can never manage it. I'm always eating a bit of foil with a cream egg. Ooh, this is so good. Okay, I, I'm gonna continue eating this egg for a bit. But you can enjoy this magical moment that happened during the week. It's not a clip of the week, everyone, it's a bonus clip. So please enjoy magical moment of the week. I think it's over here. Oh my god! Look at this! Crumb day! It's a perfect crumb day, but it's a double crumb day! What does this mean? Oh! Look at it! It's so beautiful! A double crumb day! Oh, oh, double crumb day. Oh, 
Blimey, there wasn't there wasn't enough time for me to scoff down my egg during that clip. Someone got the reference. Rich Gamer got the reference. It was the the double rainbow meme. Who remembers the double rainbow meme? That guy is having the time of his life watching those two rainbows. And that's what it made me think of when I saw double crumb. I was like, oh, <laughs> double crumb day. Oh. <laughs> that's what that was supposed to be. Because that guy's really living his best life. Um, I remember my first... Um, exposure to that meme was when I uh, played Borderlands 2 and they have a nice little bit. Borderlands 2 by the way, I never felt, I, I loved that game and I felt like Borderlands 3 just didn't hit the mark. Any other Borderlands just didn't quite m mean the same to me as Borderlands 2 but that, that, that game was just so much fun and I just, yeah that was just special that was. But yeah there's like a little, you can find it and it is a trophy. You find the double rainbow and you either get Handsome Jack saying it or Claptrap saying it, which was news to me actually. I didn't realize Claptrap could say it because I normally see Handsome Jack saying it. So let's see, what do we got in here? What's our toy? I was hoping that I could get this out. Maybe I'll see if I can make it during Clip of the Week. It's some kind of aerobics. Yeah, you have to go over the cliff. Oh, don't know the meme, but I generally thought. <laughs> Don't know what I mean, but I generally thought you were that happy, which was a bit worrying. No, do not worry. Um, it was it was a uh, reference to a you know when when the internet was simpler time. Look at this thing. Is it a ghost? Are we ghost busting right now? Oh no, we're making a thing. I think this is, how, is this how you do it. I don't know how we're making this. I'm just trying to shove bits into holes that maybe they don't belong. No, hang on, that's his camera. He's got a little camera and that's his back, surely. I want to fix this. So uh, let's move into highlights and lowlights. Of oh, wait, hang on. He clips together like this. Although not very securely. And then his little camera goes in front. He's doing, he's the vlogger. Hi everybody, I'm also vlogging. Watch out! It's it's bird talk with me. This weird bird that has almost human hands. Well, there we go. I made the Kinder Egg toy. Um, how many humans does it take? How many loose does it take to make a Kinder Egg toy? One. Um, so yeah, that that was good. That was good. And now I still have half a Kinder Egg to eat later. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, there is a Borderlands movie. But I've not watched the trailer. Maybe I should have. Um, maybe I should have looked at that. Um, yes, this is not sponsored. It's not sponsored by Kinder. But I heard mixed. I don't even know how a Borderlands movie would work, to be honest. Um, but oh wait, really? Jamie Lee Curtis's Tannis looks good. Wow, that does sound fun. So maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Maybe that's my uh, this year's trip to the cinema, as well as seeing Beetlejuice two. <laughs> I did actually watch the trailer for Beetlejuice two, and I was like. Okay. All right. So hit me up, everybody, with your highlights and lowlights of the week, and uh, we shall we shall share with everybody all the highs and the lows. So I'll tell you my low, as you tell, having some kind of problem, an ill naturedness to myself, which is kind of sad. Uh, also, obviously, things being busy at work has been kind of rough. But as it is the new financial year, I got all the emails that are like, oh, all your bills have risen. And it's like, great. Although I don't think they've risen correctly. So I've got a bit of admin to work out because it's like my water bill went up by 60%, which was insane. And my council tax, they sent me, they told me how much it was going to go up, but then they charged me a different price that was 10 pounds more. And I'm like, what's going on? Why is it so expensive to just be alive? So that's kind of frustrating to try and sort that out. So those are my big little moans. My big little moans of the week. But of course, highlight of the week has to be the four day weekend, eating too much chocolate and having my Easter eggs. Hooray. Unfortunately, my, uh, my, ele my electric bill also went up. So uh, <laughs> everything went up, nothing went down. Um, do I have any other highlights? Not really, I've not had much time to play anything because I've just been so tired after work that I've just gone to sleep. I slept for nine hours last night. So some that's how I know something's wrong with me. I don't normally need nine hours of sleep. 
But um, you know what? I, and it was uninterrupted sleep as well. That's how, that's how you know you're tired. Okay, let's read some of these highlights and notes of the week. Thank you so much for sharing. Robert War says, like first week back after a week off and I missed the stream last week. Well, it's good to have you back, Robert War. Always add a lot of good value. Everyone here adds great value to the conversation. So thanks everybody for being part of the show, writing in the chat. Because, you know, then we have a conversation. So thanks for adding to the conversation, Robert. Uh, Highlight got my 10th plat of the year. Your last of a stream. And look at Darren Lucy as always. Thank you. Well, congrats on your 10th platinum of the year. Good stuff. I think I'm on seven, which is mad for me. Uh, skip to the end says highlights. Platinum 176. Oh, you're just a bit ahead of me. I need to catch up to you. Skip to the end. Uh, oh, yeah, because I'm on 170. I don't know if I'm going to get 6-4 anytime soon, though. Uh, tabletop Racing and in my best big show voice, WrestleMania, baby! Woo! <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. It's WrestleMania time, everyone. Um, looking forward to that. I always take off Monday for WrestleMania. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a good one. Um, and some good things hopefully will, will occur. KRP TV says, Highlight, it's only a four-day work week again. Yeah! uh that's what uh, that's what I love although it's so annoying like it feel, I'm so happy to have a four-day weekend work day but I'm also like feel so stressed out because I've had two now I've got two days of work that I can't do and like <laughs> feeling under pressure uh low light is I've been having headaches from all the easter eggs I've been eating chocolate gives me headaches no I hope I haven't got that I, I couldn't I couldn't live if chocolate gave me easter eggs that's so sad well I'm glad that you powered through because oh my god chocolate just is life for me. Chris Chase has highlight finished a replay of Ghost of Tsushima. Finished my new tattoo. Nice. Also started jamming with a couple of other musicians. <gasps> Chris Chase, I don't know if you were in the stream last week, but I played guitar last week. I thought you might be proud of me. <laughs> M says, highlights really enjoying playing Alien Isolation. Made good progress on the plat. Nice. Lola, feel really stressed at work. Me and you both. Um, how can we help each other? I wrote a list today of all the things that were stressing me out, both work and personal to try and help Oh, because that's the other thing that happened today. <laughs> I, I think it's because I've got like work things going on and like because of all the admin stuff happening. I got told by my energy supplier that my meter, the switch is going to turn off. There's like a signal that's being sent to my meter. That's because it's an old one. So they're going to switch the signal off and then I may not have power. So I had to get a technician in like ASAP to switch it to a smart meter. The technician was late this morning. So then I was like stressed out about maybe I won't be able to do work because the power's going to go out. And then when the technician did come, who was a great, by the way, shout out to this technician. I had a great time bouncing with him. So it was just a bit stressful when you have work to do and you're like, oh my God, the power's going to go out and I've swapped all my meetings. But he was a very nice guy. Um, but yeah, we couldn't for the life of us work out where my thing was. I had to find the fuse cut off box or something. <sighs> So in the end, it didn't actually end up happening. But he was like, you need to do this because it's like a legal requirement. So now I have to like find out what's gone wrong there. <laughs> oh my God, adulting is truly happening to me. I, I feel like I've been, I, I don't know, I've just opened the floodgates to adulthood. Like, a, what? It's just washed all over me in a short period of time. Uh, luckily, I guess, luckily, well, unluckily for me, I was shielded for so long. I had such a sheltered life. And now I'm like... <sighs> Time to breathe into a paper bag. In fact, I feel it now. I'm um, so sorry, that was a nice small rant, but I'm really sorry to hear that you're stressed. I'm also stressed. Let's help unstress each other. Me being stressed on the stream is probably not helpful for you guys who have come to the stream to try and chill out. I sincerely apologize. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's read, let's read some happier things. Highlight, oh, last was part two streams at the start of the week. Thank you so much and had an amazing Easter weekend. And it's WrestleMania, baby. Woo! Yes, very good. I um, hope you enjoy WrestleMania. Thank you for enjoying the streams. George says, low light, the cat peed in the backseat of my car. Damn, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're able to fix your car. And everything is uh, hunky-dory there. Dusty says, highlight, defeated eight hordes so far in a day's gone low light enjoying doing my own thing more than the story at the moment and i would agree with that to be fair uh highlight the trophy stick has reached 101 days and 303 trophies well congrats my streak is still a going as well so we'll keep it going together dusty it's been rough this week i've so many times i almost was like no i can't go on i must go to sleep instead of earn trophy i couldn't possibly and i managed to just squeak one out or just get something simple so i could just like go to bed 
<laughs> so congrats. Good, good, good stuff. Um, Adam Rose's low light. No more platinums this time. I'm try still trying. I'm still trying working on one. Well, good luck with that. Um, I hope that is going well. Jacob Novik says, highlight, ordered a bunch of stuff. First time I bought stuff for my game collection this year. Oh, nice. Oh, I hope you, um, it's nice to treat yourself now and again. So I hope that all, that all goes well. Lola, it's snowing here in Sweden in April. Damn. Well, uh, yeah, it hasn't snowed here this year. Touch wood. I don't want it to snow. Uh... Fabio says, highlight, I got an internship. I'm going to start on Monday in a hotel, low light due to the internship schedule. I don't know if I'll be able to watch Look at Lucy's streams in a, the next month and a half. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that uh, that might happen. But the VOD is always here for you, my friend. And uh, obviously, we want your internship to go well. So when you are able to return to us, tell us how it all went. Also, when I'm in the US, don't forget, Lock It Down with Lucy changes to Friday um, because that makes it a little bit easier for me to do the show. And... Uh, to balance it with work because I could do a show after work on a Thursday, fine, but I found it quite hard to do the show midday on Thursday because I do it at 12 o'clock PST time. So it wasn't really, because Thursday's still a bit manic. Friday it quiets down a bit, so I had a bit more time to get stuff done and then, you know, it's fine. Ha! <sighs> um, thank, oh, thank you. Thank you for the drink reminder. I also feel quite thirsty. Mm. Ah. Oh, thank you. Your streams are all, always a good time. So thanks. This does help. Hopefully doing the show helps you manage. Stream. Yeah, that's what I look forward to. I know that even though I might start off the stream being like, hello, everybody. It's a sad day to be a Lucy. But by the time at the end of the stream, I'm like, oh, man, that was good. I feel like you've all cheered me up. So thanks. <laughs> I feel like that's what happens. My It just goes, woo. <laughs> um... Oh, thank you, Rockwell. Right your streams don't make me feel more stressed. It's good to know that we can share our problems to help you deal with the stress too. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that you feel that way because, yeah, it does It does help having, having friends like you guys is always helpful. Uh, so Dave says, Hi, like, got my car back from its suspension repair today, although hilariously they couldn't find it for a while when I went to pick it up. And Platinum 179 for, oh, how do I say this? Kelowna one plus two remastered. Well, very good. Everyone seems to be in the 170 range these days. I need to start stepping up my game. I feel average. I gotta, I gotta get this, get it going. Uh, I am indeed next Saturday. So yeah, the show will move. I'll, I'll let, I'll let everyone know on um, on on next week's show. Next week will be the last UK show, and then we will um, I'll I'll I will stream from the states again, which will be fun. So thank you all for. Uh, adding your uh, your highlights and lowlights. I hope you are all well. And um, yeah, and if you and if there are any lowlights, I hope that we're able to cheer you up or things get better for next week. So for now, I suppose I shall move on with clip of the week, which is the big question on everybody's mind. Did my dad get me an Easter egg? It was the talk of the town last show. Unsure what was going to happen, had he forgotten me. I then also found out that Imogen had an Easter egg for my dad that she took with her to uh, America. And I was like, how could father forget me? Because I don't remember asking for anything, but maybe I've, I've forgotten. So here's, uh, here's what went down at Easter weekend. Please enjoy clip of the week. Clip of the week. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm at the train station, waiting to get the train to go to my parents. Um, I guess I'm just thinking, Will there be an Easter egg for me? Put your comments in the chat now. Yes or no? Did I remember? I don't know. I just can't remember. Did my dad ask me for an Easter egg? Or did I ask for one? Or will there be no one because he forgot me? So we shall see um, if there will be. I'm 50-50. I really, I think it's more no. Maybe I'm more 60-40. I think 60 no, 40 yes. But we shall see. Bronze? Smarty and Oh, Christmas. thank you. Did I ask for this? I can't remember. Hey. I can't remember if you if you took the. Oh well, thanks. Two Easter eggs. Two Easter eggs, Luna. Yeah. Although I wouldn't have mind one of those Fred items. No. I'll, I'll take I'll take a smite and a Kit Kat. Right, I've only got two shots of this. All right, you ready?
Well, that was all the new brain cell knowledge for my course, destroyed by Easter. So there you go. <laughs> that was clip of the week. Now, apologies for the blurriness there. I wanted to try out the slow-mo on my camera. Um, this camera. But for some reason, because I couldn't see and I was doing this budget and filming it myself, I had no idea that it was filming blurry. So I, that's why I, I had to do it twice, which was kind of frustrating because I did it the first time hoping that I would get the slow-mo. And I was like, oh no, I guess I have to do it another time. Everyone's like, this is why you don't feel well. Perhaps, but it must be, it must be done. But maybe I need to retire from, uh, <laughs> from egg bashing because um, yeah, these Easter eggs are getting, they're getting tough, man. Every Easter, I gotta like, you know, it's almost like uh, Undertaker before WrestleMania. He's like, gotta work it up to see if he can still wrestle. I've got to like, get going, ready to nut my Easter egg. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> this is quality content, my thank you. Uh, she's turned into the Sandman. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, other people seem to do this as well. Daniel says, yeah, I thought I was the only one who nutted my Easter eggs. No. And then Luna was there. Luna was just happy to be there. Luna, um, I got, was just happy that I was there to play with her. Trophy unlocked, concussion. Now, poor little Luna. It's hard to see from this clip, but Luna, she's got fat. It was mentioned in a previous clip of the week. Uncle Bernie outed her for being fat. This week, I went out with her for a walk and I noticed it. And then we went out for a double walk. So I'm not really sure what's happened. How can we save Luna? She needs to go <laughs> on a boot camp. We need to take her to back camp, whatever it was called, that TV show. Um, she needs more walks and less less treats. Don't treat your dog like a dustbin. That's, uh, that is sad. But I'm just, I'm just concerned for her because she's a very agile dog and her breed is, uh, you know, I'm just worried that she's going to do herself a mischief if she's too overweight, because that's like, she doesn't know that she's, you know, because, and so that's why I feel like I need to take, so when I go out with Luna, I'm going to make sure to take, no, I'm not fat shaming her, no, I'm just, I'm concerned for her health, <laughs> I'm concerned, because she loves, because the thing about Luna, she loves throwing and catching the ball, she loves running about, she loves being active, and I did notice that she was like out of breath quicker, and I was like, oh no, Luna, it shouldn't, it can't be this way for poor Luna, because I don't, because she likes to run out the garden, and I just don't want her to uh, overexert herself when she's uh, not, not ready, so maybe, maybe, um, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be eight. Oh my god, maybe she is. It's just her, she's getting old. Now that I've said that she's eight, well, she's not eight yet, she's still seven. Wow, that's horrible to believe. I don't like to think about that. Maybe it is just she's getting old. It feels like she's barely been around. Oh, I can't, I can't think about this now. This is too sad, but I suppose it's weird. Like when I was young, I felt that life was so beautiful. A miracle. <laughs> when I was young and I had my dog Misty, when Misty was eight, it felt like it had been ages, but probably because when I, I got Misty, I was nine. And then by the time she was eight, I was like 16. So it felt like a big time jump. But now I suppose when I got Luna, I was like, what, 27? I suppose it is kind of a long way. Um, oh boy, okay, well, we're gonna move on from Luna Sad Chat, because it's just, it's it's, just, it's too sad, it's too sad. But yeah, I wanna make sure, I also feel bad as well, because I'm not there to take Luna out for walks as much anymore. Like, we used to go for walks all the time uh, when I was there. Well, well, mainly in the pandemic, but you know, what else was there to do? So I feel a bit bad. So this weekend, I'm gonna be around my parents for WrestleMania twice. I'm gonna try and get everyone out to take Luna out for a big walk uh, again. We went for two walks, on Sunday, she loves going for walks, so I want to see if we can get her uh, out for a walk again, a big walk, and get the famo, get the fam to go out for a, a big walk as well, so that's the plan, sorry, so much life admin, sorry about this everybody, um, oh, well I, I will send Luna uh, all your love, and I'll make sure to get some, some Luna content for you all for the following uh, weeks, <laughs> a lot of stressful time, I'm so stressed, I'm sorry. We need a weight loss montage. This is a montage. Oh, yeah, you're right, Christian. I remember when you had that low luck of the week. Yeah. 
Wow, oh my God, I don't even like to think about that because now I'm just thinking about all the years. Damn, pets pets go by too quickly. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. This is this is too, it's a too sad. This is meant to be a happy show. And uh, now we're talking about sad, sad things. Oh, yeah. Robert Wall also lost Willow. All oh, sad times. Uh, love to everybody's dogs. Love to all the dogs and all the cats and all the pets out there. Um, okay. I also have been watching more uh, whale content. This is the this is the <laughs> more stressful content, everybody. I'm sorry. This should, should come with a stress warning. Bam! I've been watching so much whale content this weekend, and then I watched Free Willy, which was a strange movie. Um, I remember watching it as a kid, and watching it as an adult, I was like, hmm. I see what's happening here, but <laughs> the, the, there's not much happening in the movie. And why is Michael, is his name Michael Manson or Michael Madsen? Why is he in this and why is he so hot? Something I never picked up, up on as a child watching this movie. But anyway, <laughs> I watched Free Willy <laughs> because I wanted to see uh, how it was representing the whales that are kept in captivity because I want to help save a whale. So I'm going to try and do something for Ocean Day because... I've been watching about how all the whales are like stuck in captivity because they're not allowed to perform anymore. They're not allowed to perform anymore, um, which is good. We don't want whale, we don't want whales being captured from the ocean and having to perform for us humans. It's not like it's different because people are like, well, other things are being captured, but yeah, we're we're capturing them and eating them. We're literally just putting these whales in captivity so we can clap and be entertained. But I'm not entertained. I like. You can, the, the whales and the dolphins are all like super depressed because they're as emotionally as intelligent as humans. And I was discovering all about this. I also saw a video about a woman who was saved by a shark. No, she was saved from a shark by a whale. And then she met the whale a, we a year later and the whale remembered her. And then they just hugged in the ocean for like 15 minutes. <laughs> so that also happened. Um, so yeah, I want to... <laughs> I want to do something about these poor animals in captivity because they're just stuck there now. Um, so, um, yeah, I think what, what what the goal is to try and to get them into reservoirs or not reservoirs, res reserves, so they can have like a life in the wild that's monitored by humans, but not in a tank. So that's the thing. A lot of these uh, killer whales are just stuck in tanks. And uh, so I, I know I know a lot about the whales. I'm not going to bore you about it. But, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I was like watching this movie and I was like, who is this guy? I recognize him. And, uh, <laughs> and I, um, I remember him from Big Brother. He was on Celebrity Big Brother. And that's how I knew who Michael Madsen was. And then I was like, oh, okay, he's in this movie. So yeah, I will do, uh, I'll do something for the whales and the dolphins because I, I just don't think that they should be, well, n they shouldn't really be in captivity, especially if they're just there and it's, they're, they're, they're basically just there to make money. They're like assets rather than animals are not being treated as a life form because orcas are like millions of pounds uh, to investors so and that's what Free Willy is about. Free Willy, they want the whale to perform because they're hoping that the whale will bring in lots of money to the amusement park. But the whale is like, you know, doesn't want to and whatever. And then it has a bond with Jesse, who's the main character who sings in harmonica to the whale. The whale is all sad in captivity because in captivity, the whale's dorsal fins collapse because they're not swimming straight. Also, a lot of the baby whales that get born, they get twisted insides because they don't swim in straight lines either. It's all terrible. Um, <laughs> Titanic whales can't wait for next one's rabbit hole. I just, I don't know, I just get super into things. And I just know it. I just want to know everything about it um, and then and learn about it while, while I can. So yeah, and then, so the, the whole movie is just about them freeing the whale and um which they do get to do and that's quite exciting but it's very thin 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 on actual plots the plot is the whale doesn't want to perform let's free so they're going to try and kill the whale so let's free the whale and all these storylines get set up very loosely and never get resolved like there's something going on between the mum and the dad I think that they kind of a child or something, but it's not 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 talked about. Also, I'm not sure what the length of time of this film is. That it seems to take a space take place over the span of like a month, maybe, but maybe longer. I don't know. Like it's really hard to tell how long he's been getting, you know, with the whale. Oh, they do play the Michael Jackson song at the end. Yeah. 
so I don't know by the end of the film like him and the world have a deep connection and he also has a deep connection with his new mum and dad and he's left his old street life ways also this is very 90s this movie it's so 90s it's painful it I don't no the film isn't, isn't a month long it's just I think it takes place in at least a month no 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 he, he like gets on with the whale and they form like a friendship also I thought it was very interesting about the movies they don't actually use a whale they have there's a real whale that the whale is modelled after but they actually made an animatronic whale to do a lot of the filming scenes because I was just like, wow, how is this little kid getting in the tank with the whale and doing all this stuff with it? Anyway, it's a long film. Not much really happens, uh, but I feel like it helped close my circle of whale content and I might have to put the whales to bed for a bit until I can do something on Ocean Day. So sorry to give you all my little rant about whales. But yeah, I just found this this topic very, uh, I don't know, I just it just hit my heart. And I just don't like the idea of all these whales stuck in captivity, no longer doing anything but waiting to die. And some of them are killing themselves. Like literally, that's what, they have the emotional talent just to do that. So if I can just do anything to get them out, and because that's the problem. They don't get on with the other whales uh, because they're not from the same pod. But then it's because they're all like tightly like packed in. If they just had enough space to like, be free and swim but with humans looking out for them because they're still obviously some of them are born in captivity so they obviously like human presence they just need a bit more um yeah so that's kind of sad I mean, yeah fabio brings up the same point about zoos um it's it's tough because yeah it's like in the zoos i think it's hard to know are they just are they there because they're endangered probably hopefully you think but they're not performing for us i think that's why is the difference to me. I feel like we've taken these whales good nature, the fact that they connect with humans, and we, we've taken advantage of them. And we're like, oh, we can use this to our own to make money. And now, you know, capitalize on the fact that they, they can be trained and stuff, stuff like that. So that's why I think I'm against this more so than the zoos. Not to say the zoos, like, yeah. Zoos for conf conservation awareness are good. Yeah, and also these whales don't have enough space and we will never have enough space for these whales you could make the biggest tank in the world and it's just not enough for them like you could get a pretty decent size enclosure for like a deer or something for instance although deers aren't going to run away but you know, you know what i'm saying like the size of these animals are so massive that we can't properly look after them um yeah and it's just like we're not chris chris Jay is talking about you know um yeah, the animals. I don't know. It is a it is a, a wormhole once you get down because you know. I know it's tough because obviously we do eat some animals, but I just don't like the fact that these animals are entertainment. So yeah. Anyway, <sighs> that's my little rant about whales. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll get off. I'll get off my soapbox now. Maybe talk about some video games. Let's talk about video games. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's now April. Happy April, everybody. Um, I hope April is treating you well. As I said, this week has been pretty tough time-wise. So I've not, I've been, it's been tough on the old trophy front. But I'm happy to report that March was pretty good. So let's take a little trip now uh, to the internet. I go to the internet. Where I can look at my stats. So come we now to drive through time and space to the world of the internet. The internet come with. Oh my god, I'm huge. Whoa, we don't need to be this huge. Just put put me put me back. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Here I am. L to the U to the C to the Y. And if we go to periods and summaries, let's go to March. Have a quick look here. So I managed to get 110 trophies, which is insane. I can't believe, because uh, I guess it just sort of happened to, uh, <sighs> happened to get so many. I think it's because I played Brothers, maybe that helped. So yeah, I played Metal Gear Solid, Super Oh yeah, I did, I did play two of these short games to get Platinums. So I managed to get a total of one, two, three, four Platinums last month. God damn. That's insane. And then completed the Outer Worlds DLC, also making my way through to The Last of Us. Now, unfortunately, I feel like Helldivers 2 Platinum is not going to happen this month. And uh, that is unfortunately... Well, I thought it was possible, but there's a trophy to win complete 100 missions, this one here. 
And I looked at my stats and I'm only on 56. Now the reason, uh, although I think I played 60, it's just because the missions are very time intensive. Like you can do 15 minute missions, but a lot of them are 40 minutes. So I don't think I have a lot left in me. So I'm gonna have to park this and come back to it when I am back from the US because I don't really want to rush it either. Like I looked online and you can like, and you have to complete the mission. So what that means is within each mission, there's like an objective, a main objective that you have to complete. And that doesn't mean you have to extract. It just means get the main objective done. And then if you die, that's fine. If you extract, but don't complete the mission, then that doesn't count as a mission complete. So that's what you are looking for with this trophy. And um, yeah, I'm still just under halfway there. So, uh, and then I have a couple of these left, which is complete and extreme difficulty. I haven't actually played with any of my normal hell divers because this I'm going to have to do with a group of people that I know. Um, it can happen with randoms, it can happen, but you know, it's it's better, if I wanna control this, I can do it with a group of people. This uh, here, again, I wanna do it with a group of friends so we can coordinate and talk to each other. I don't think they're particularly difficult, you just need people. Uh, and then this will be what I probably save for my last trophy so that we can all do it at the same time, which would be super cool. That will be all my friends and me um, doing a barrage, uh, Yes, yeah, so I actually, uh, wait, so you didn't make a video where, where you were making each month where you show a clip of it. I, I did, but I haven't, I haven't made, I haven't made it yet this week. I ran out of time. So I have to, I have to play that again next week. But I do have a video that's coming out about this. So uh, this may be slightly redundant, I guess. Uh, and then this one, I just don't fight the automatons enough. So I'm going to have to go and fight the automatons. So that's on pause now, probably until May. Uh, but definitely on track to get Last of Us Part 2, and I've had to, I've had to lean on some Jackbox, uh, which, you know, for better or worse, that, that does happen. So look, April, we're on the 4th of April now, I've got one trophy every day so far, um, so I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have not planted Resident Evil 7 yet, but that is the one for this, uh, this month is, not this month, sorry, that's the next Resident Evil I will play. Not sure when I will uh, get round to it, but I will. So that is what's been happening in the uh, in the trophy department. Um, how how was your March? I'm going to take another drink here. Trophy Triumphs. What website is that? That is True Trophies. TrueTrophies.com. Yeah, there it is. Spells out here by Robert War. Uh, check it out. So I suppose next I need to think about what I'm going to play while I'm away. So you may be able to join me in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something out in a sec here to see what happens uh, if we can do this together. But that yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, the Outer Worlds, yeah, we did that DLC, and I was playing Separate Ways. Which Separate Ways? I just want to play it because I want to play it. But the trophy output not great. There's only seven trophies, and a lot of them are tied to beating the game so we will talk about separation of set but i have here my trusty vita because as you guys know i'm working on my grand slam so i think this might be next uh on the grand slam path uh so i'm just gonna turn on my vita because i want to see if i can make a start on it here so we're gonna turn it on hopefully if it will turn on god this is looking battered and bruised over here and the game I want to play on my Vita for my Platinum Grand Slam is a game called Severed. I don't really know much about it other than it's by Drinkbox, who also did Guacamelee. Uh, it's like a first-person kind of RPG dungeon crawler, I think. So apparently uh, the store is still accessible. I think, yeah, this, this Vita has seen sometimes. It's still trying to go strong. I would like to try and get some of it done on the plane, uh, hopefully. And that might make the video a bit more interesting if I'm playing uh, through it a bit. So... Part of my research will be I'm going to have to look up the trophy guide and maybe download. Yeah, just, just play like this. Do, 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 do. Uh, download uh, a guide on my phone because there's no internet in the sky unless you pay for it. So I could just double check that I'm doing the right thing. I think it should be okay. Um, I, don't, I haven't read it myself, but I just need to double check I'm going to be okay to, to play it and then get some of that done. So let's see. Can I purchase this? Does the store still let me purchase something in 2024? We are about to find out. So we're going to go to the store. Look at this thing. It's like somewhere in between PS3 and uh, 
PS4. It looks more PS3 to me with all that sort of like bevel stuff going on. So I guess it'll be under PS Vita games. And now we get an A to Z. So I guess I'll go down to S for Severed. It's a game I've heard um, people talking about as, as a good game. I've heard it for as long as the Vita was around. Oh, there it is. Drinkbox Games. Severed. Eleven ninety nine. I wonder what's going to happen when I press buy. Oh, order and pay. Although my wallet, I don't know if I'm going to start add funds to my wallet. God, this is terrible, terrible. Okay, let's see. We might, we're, we're going to buy this together right now, maybe. Okay, by selecting confirm, I've got a screen here, confirm. Your wallet does not have enough funds. Do you want to add funds? Yes. To manage your settings, scan this QR code. Huh. Oh, can I add funds on the app? It needs to be only wallet funds. Okay, so can I, can I do this? Yeah, money is normally required to do things. Oh, so maybe. Okay, right. We're, we're watching it live now, everybody. We're going to... Now, I won't be able to add eleven ninety nine, will I? So I'm going to have to just add some money. I think, can I only do 20 pound increments? I hope not. I hope I can do 15 pounds. Okay, so how do I do this? I don't ever, I normally just buy stuff. I guess we go to the store. <laughs> Buying with Lucy. An audio adventure. Okay, I'm going to press the hamburger menu. Payment methods. Okay, I'm in the payment method screen. Is this not content you are excited to see? Is this not entertainment? Uh, okay, well, how do I add to my wallet? Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't right. Transaction history. I don't want that. Maybe we can't do it from the... Hmm. Maybe it's on my account rather than... Although I would have thought it would have been here. Payment methods, storefront country, subscriptions, management. It's not, I don't think it's here. Maybe you can't add them. Um, yeah, I've only got these options. So maybe you can't add money. That seems like a, a missed opportunity potentially. Hmm. Can I buy it with my stars credits? Wouldn't that be funny? Turn my star my star credits. How many how many stars points do I have? I'm not sure. Oh, I could do it on the PlayStation website. Well, yeah, now we're now we're we're seeing what goes on. Okay, well maybe I guess I'll just have to do it later, I guess. Um I was hoping to maybe buy it with you all here and maybe boot it up, but alas. We will have to wait. It will be, it'll have to be on a, on a separate video. Well, there you are. You got, you got a little insight. You need to, to put money in your wallet on the PS4 or phone computer. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, I'll do that later. Let's, let's move on to separate ways, uh, which is, I'm going to take a quick drink. Um, mm. which is the Resident Evil DLC that I've been waiting to play for a while, but I wanted to put it on the back burner until I was ready to play. Uh, you know, go back, play something different. I felt like I've been playing a lot of similar games. So I was like, oh, I want to get back into Resident Evil. And I had the, the three day weekend to relax and enjoy it. And uh, today I managed to finish it. So here is my thoughts, if you've not played it yet. Hands up if you've played separate ways. Um, it is... Nothing that I can remember. Yes, it is. Uh, it, it was uh, last October. I just haven't got round to it. Um, we will talk about this. So Separate Ways is the DLC uh, that was on the original Resident Evil back in the day. I played it live on, uh, did a live stream of it for the original. Played this. Um, Chris J has played it. Uh, so I was curious to get back because I don't remember anything about Separate Ways at all. Oh, Jamie played it. Um, no, don't worry. I won't get into the. I won't get into spoilers of what happens. Um, don't worry about it. 
I just want to talk generally. And I'm going to say the thing that everyone hates you say is it is basically more Resident Evil 4, but condensed. So it's not a bad thing. Obviously, Resident Evil's great. It's just condensed into a... Um, a much smaller version, which is good and bad. I don't think it's as compelling as the main game because the storyline's not quite as interesting. Uh, it's just kind of more interesting to see some of the areas of the first game, or not, yeah, areas of the main game, going through them again, but seeing them slightly differently. Also, there's a lot of Easter eggs and nods to the original game, which is quite cool to see. So you're like, oh yeah. That's cool that this is happening. Or I guess kind of piecing the puzzle. Or, but the, the funny thing is that Ada is on some weird time dilation compared to Leon. Like she will go from like one section of the game to another section of the game in 30 minutes. Whereas Leon, it took him two hours. And I'm like, I don't know what kind of paradox time stream you're living in, Ada, but like, I think it was like the facility section. Like Ada enters the facility and so you see, you sort, of, you sort of see Leon's progress through the, as your Ada as well. So I'm like, oh, I know where Leon is in the story. I know where I am in the story. 30 minutes later, I reach the other facility and then I see Leon doing something like, Jesus Christ, Leon, like you had to do this and then this and then this and then this and then this in the time it's taken me to get to there, which was uh, kind of funny. Yeah. I liked how they added that you could hear Leon's journey throughout, like hearing gunshots here in the church. Yeah. That was kind of cool how they intertwined it um but i thought it was very good dlc far better than the ps2 separate ways. yeah it definitely is more memorable and ada's grappling hook was pretty fun that is true she did have a grappling hook and do all the shortcuts to help fasten fasten things up but it was just funny like it it was fast for ada but it wasn't any faster for leon but leon's able to catch up with her in a weird way so yeah that, that was kind of cool. Uh, Ada is fun to play as the grappling hook. I did it on... A, I'm going to talk about why I've played it a certain way. Because I got a little screwed over by the trophies. And so this is like... People always like, Lucy, do, does trophy hunting ruin your experience? I've got a story to tell you about how yes, yes, it does sometimes. And, you know, sometimes it gets me, sometimes it doesn't. But let's talk about Ada's voice acting in this. Unfortunately... It's not great. Uh, she, the person, she's doing a great job, but she's not Ada. Like, I think th if this was a brand new character that I'd never met before, I would have thought the, vo the voice acting was fine. But because it's Ada and I've seen Ada in a billion other things, like she's been in so many Resident Evil games, I don't think she quite captures Ada's, like, you know, personality. Yet she is a bit bored, I guess flat maybe and is the best way to describe it like the, her her line delivery isn't great she needs to be a little sassier for ada like i think it would be fine if it was like I said, if it's another character i think it would be fine um but yeah she's just not i hate to say but I, you know what ada's like she's got she's a bit more quippy sexier sharp tongue that kind of thing a bit elusive but alluring at the same time but this uh, this person doesn't quite get that side of Ada. She seems very like straight book. Like even though she's got funny things to say, it's like the lines are Ada, but the delivery isn't Ada. Like there are a few like bug off kind of things, but it doesn't quite come across the same. Yeah, lacking in personality a bit. Um, so I prefer the original Ada voice actor, but I think the this the DLC is much better. Um, uh, and yeah, her character model is also very good, I thought, as well, actually. I was just like, wow, they really like, you know, she looks like a real person, kind of, sort of. Okay, that was maybe a weird call. But yeah, I was just kind of like, oh, these people look kind of cool and everything. It's just a shame. Now, the other person that um, I want to talk about, and I don't think this is a spoiler, but I'll put the spoiler hand up just in case, but this was in, um, this was in the, the screenshot, so I'm just going to put the spoiler hand up real quick, just in case. I have to talk about Wesker. Again, his voice acting, also bad. Now, they've given him generic bad guy voice, which I just, like, he's got this, like, just bring me the amber, Ada, nothing else to get done. I was like, what? Why is, firstly, he's not British anymore, which was part of the charm. He, global saturation. So, 
yeah, he, he's not British, which also made him stand out and have a bit more more character to him. But now he just sounds like another generic bad guy with like a weird kind of too overly deep processed voice. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is, this is just not, it's not as interesting. I don't really like, I didn't in, find the cutscenes very engaging because both of these people just sounded boring when they spoke to each other. Like, Luis, Luis is the best person in this DLC. Like, he's bringing the life. He is absolutely the best character in it. Um, so I always enjoyed when he was part of a cutscene. But otherwise, I was like, what happened to Wesker? Sad. He is pretty hot, though, Wesker. I'm not going to lie. No, actually, to be fair, all of the characters in Resident Evil are uh, pretty pretty hot. And they're by that way, by design, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I know they're cheesy, but... I didn't think this was the right, this was the right move. Um, it's hard to make them all sound the same. One that did well was Morden from two to three. No way, I didn't even know that was a change in voice actor. Damn. Uh, oh, I didn't know that Courtney Taylor was the OG voice actor for Ada, but yeah, that was a little disappointing. Um, and yeah, but I have, I have enjoyed it. Now, here's my trophy tragedy. Tragedy in the trophy landscape. So, like I mentioned, the game is very condensed. You will go through sections super quickly because, you know, there's not much to it. And then you'll be blocked off from previous areas very quickly, especially with the grappling hook taking you places. So, I was reading a guide on how best to get the trophies. And they recommend you play on assisted so that you can get the elite, uh, the elite knife that way you do your professional playthrough to get the Chicago Sweeper and then you do the S plus playthrough with your Chicago Sweeper. It should be fine. Now, a lot of people are saying that this game is harder than the main game. I haven't encountered that yet because I did start on assisted because of this guy telling me so. Although I do feel like I could have done it on standard. It would have been fine. So in the assisted run, you want to make sure you get all the treasures so that you have um, all the... Uh, so you have like money to boost, bolster yourself a new game plus. So you, and on new game plus, you want to obviously get very get through it faster with your upgraded weapons. The other thing you want to do is to get that elite knife. You have to get all of the merchant requests, which you know, fine, sure, sounds good. The issue I had with the merchant requests is I would pick them up, and then I would go through the level, and then I'd be like, oh shit! Unless it was a like totally obvious, I would suddenly get to the next section of the game and be blocked. And then I would look at the thing and be like, you have failed this. And I was like, what the hell? So there were so many times where I had to go back to a previous save because I didn't realize that I had progressed 10 minutes more than I was supposed to, which had blocked off that merch request. And there was one that I got super mad at. So I went through the game, I picked up a merchant request and I stopped playing. And then the next day I continued playing. I totally forgot about this merchant request. And then I had to go back to a really far save. And I was like, fuck, that is so annoying. So I went back to this save and I, well, actually I didn't go back to a far save. I had to go to a middle save. Went to a middle save, replayed that whole 30 minutes again, did the merch request, happy days. Did about 20 minutes more of the game and then looked at my merch request and realized that I had failed to do one of the earlier ones from when I went back to the previous save. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake, because you move on so quickly. So I had to go back to an even later save and replay a whole hour of the game just to get the, those two merchant requests. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I was like, do I carry on? Do I go, go back? So that did ruin my enjoyment because I was like super then hyper aware of how quickly I was moving through the game or not. So I wasn't going to block myself off. So I was like checking the request all the time. But is it still open? It's still active. Okay, am I still in the area? So that was kind of frustrating. Um, yeah, so make sure that you uh, have... Yeah, I added extra time to be playing. I can't remember how long I've played it so far, but definitely added more time because I had to replay. I had to do one of those boss fights three times, the new middle boss fight, which is actually an old boss fight. Um so that was that was very frustrating just because the game is so short that I missed stuff. Um, so I'm doing my professional playthrough now. Uh, and it's kind of funny because I'm like, am I even using this knife? I suppose I am a bit. Uh, and it does feel harder now that I'm on new, now on professional, I can feel that the difficulties ramped up. There are going to be a few sections of the game that I'm like, okay, this is going to be kind of tough. But overall, my playtime only took like the in-game time. Uh, I think I beat it in like two hours, 45 minutes which was fine, especially on assisted, you're not spending too much time 
really you can run past a lot of things. So the professional will be the uh, the true test of how well um, this goes. So I guess I'll be playing that, but I'm gonna have to pl that play something else on the side to uh, because again, there's not many trophies you get. Three trophies in the game for hitting certain story beats. And then the other two trophies are for beating the game on standard or on hardcore, and then for doing your S plus rank. Thank you for the thank you for the drink. I might have to wrap this up soon. My tonsil is hurting quite a lot. Ah, uh, no, I definitely added an hour and a half to my playthrough because I went back thirty minutes, then I had to go back an hour. Very annoying. But now I don't have to do that anymore. Um, that wasn't so bad because. I was playing it on um, assisted, but I definitely think it's a bit weaker than the original because it's in a smaller, a smaller space. So yeah, I, uh, I'm going to have to boot something else up and start something else, but we shall see. Um, maybe, maybe April is where I, um, I slow down. Uh, why not play the hardest first? The reason you don't play the hardest difficulty first is because you want to get all the stuff to make the hardest difficulty easier um oh god i raged getting the 100 percent of separate ways as eager to platinum oh I, I raged i raged too uh when i found out <clears throat> a hot ribena mm. interesting i don't have any ribena i do have squash but maybe i'll um ah uh, maybe i'll um make myself a hot chocolate or something and uh get back to my professional playthrough i suppose and see if i can make a dent in that. But yeah, you, you want to do the harder difficulty later because you want to get the A rank because by getting the A rank, you're going to unlock certain video. Sorry, you're going to unlock certain weapons that will help you with your S rank. So if I played uh, professional or hard first, I would probably, it'd probably take me like twice as long to beat the game because I was new at the game and then that way you'd only get a B or a D and then you're not unlocking the good weapon to do the really hard playthrough. So it's about trying to optimize the amount of playthroughs uh, and having the best weapons possible to do that. So yeah, very sad about the voice acting and mainly mainly Wesker, West character. But yeah, Luis, MVP, good fun, would recommend if you like Resident Evil 4. It's, um, it's, it's, it's nice, it ties in all well. And I'm curious to see where it goes next. That ending cutscene was very, mm, where is this going, I wonder? Um, okay, I think I am going to rest my voice now because I'm starting to feel... This is what happens. Like, I, I feel fine at the beginning of the day and then towards the end of the day, I start to feel really like, as I said at the beginning of the day, like my... I just want to lie down and go to sleep. I feel knackered. So <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, it's buffering like crazy. Well, um, I found separate ways on the remake much better than the original. Loved the original game, but separate ways was, was a bit weak. Okay. Coffee talk or Tinykin as a short indies if you need trophies. Maybe... Or maybe I get started on my big PS3 game. Who knows? Okay. I... Yeah, sorry. I knocked one of the cables, most likely. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm going to go and lie down now and rest my voice. But thank you so much for watching. Sorry for my uh, poor healthness on the stream. I, but I appreciate you being here to listen. Um, I will close the poll. And hopefully we'll be well enough to play Last of Us Part 2. I will let you know if I'm well enough to play it tomorrow or if it will be Saturday. Uh, but there will be a new video on Sunday, which is more of like a little recap of how my goals are going on the year so far, as I need to work on my rest. I need to work on my Metal Gear Solid uh, trophy uh, video next. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and eat some vegetables. Uh, yes, I should do that because yeah, even my skin's really bad at the moment. Look at all this. <sighs> okay, um, let's close the poll. Uh, do you like playing demos for games? Wow, this is so even. Um, 32% says only games I'm unsure about, 33% says no, and 35% of you say yes. Thank you so much for watching everyone, thank you for the mods. Oh, quickly, let me just do the memberships, I'm meant to be gifting some memberships, so here are five memberships to five lucky people. Thank you so much for all the members and for all the support. Uh, Rebel is Heart, Harpo Speaks, Daniel Gregory and Devlin Evercry and Mark O'Shaney. Welcome to the XP Zone, my friends. Enjoy. Um, I shall catch you all in the future. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. I might watch more whale content. <laughs> Bye.